Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Peace talks to resume. Deaths is residential building in Kyiv hit by Shell Euro, live. Summary of headline article. 521 We have seen how Russia's invasion of Ukraine, coming after the Covid supply disruptions, has sent food prices soaring to record highs. According to the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization, the supply gap from the war could push global food and feed prices as much as 22% above their already elevated prices. The FAO said late last week, the at FAO food price index averaged 140.7 points in Feb, up 3.9% from Jan, and 3.1 points higher than in February 2011. World wheat and maize production seen rising in 2022 https slash ppgow 3 nqmo Brazil single quote s grain crops were poor last year. So there is an expectation that supplies won't be as low. Vogel expects the impact on food prices prices to be sustained. Particularly because energy prices are likely to stay high. Pushing up the cost of inputs including fertilizers. From BBC under the main headline of Brent Reno. US journalist and filmmaker killed in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Somebody offered to take us to the other bridge and we crossed a checkpoint. And they start shooting at us. So the driver turned around. And they kept shooting. There's two of us. My friend is Brent Reno. And he's been shot and left behind. I saw him being shot in the neck. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine War. 21 Ukrainian children arrive in UK for life-saving treatment. As, Homes for Ukraine, scheme rolls out. Summary of headline article. 21 Ukrainian children suffering from cancer have arrived in the UK to receive life-saving care. As Britons are being urged to open their homes to people fleeing the war. Announcing their arrival. Health Secretary Sajid Javid said, I am proud that the UK is offering life-saving medical care to these Ukrainian children who have been forced out of their home country by the Russian invasion while undergoing medical treatment. I can confirm that 21 very ill Ukrainian children with cancer have landed safely in UK this evening. At NHS England will now ensure they get life-saving care in safety. Read more. Tens of thousands of Ukrainian refugees could come to UK, with £10,000 funding per individual Britons taking part in the Homes for Ukraine scheme will receive a £350 a month thank you from the government. From the Independent under the main headline of Zelensky gives medals to hospitalized soldiers and declares them a Euro heroes of Ukraine Euro. Summary of headline article. More than 100 soldiers injured or killed in Ukraine have been awarded medals by Volodymyr Zelensky for their bravery. The Ukrainian president visited a military hospital in the Kyiv region on Sunday to honor the 106 servicemen 17 posthumously, with the title Heroes of Ukraine. He was commemorated for destroying 25 units of Russian military equipment and killing about 300 invading soldiers. Several hundred Russian soldiers have died. According to the Kremlin earlier this week, Although Ukraine claims this figure stretches into the thousands. Russian troops were accused of kidnapping Melitopol Mayor Ivan Fedorov off the streets on Friday. Before installing the Kremlin's choice Galina Danilchenko. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine. Ambassador to UK calls for more support and says his country will fight.
Summary of headline article. Some in the crowd called for a no-fly zone to be established over Ukraine. While others wanted the UK to take in more refugees. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Heartbroken Family of Brit Shot Dead in Mexico in State of Disbelief. Summary of headline article. Property mogul Chris Cleave, 54, was driving through Mexico's Play del Carmen Resort on Sunday with his 14-year-old daughter when two men shot him dead in an execution-style murder heartbroken family of Brit property mogul shot. Dead in Mexico in state of disbelief the grief-stricken brother of a British business mogul shot. Dead in Mexico says his family are in a state of disbelief after the execution-style murder. Property mogul Chris Cleave, 54, was driving through Playa del Carmen in Cancun on Saturday in his convertible red Audi when two men ambushed him. Mr. Cleave became a permanent Mexican resident in 2013 and worked as an estate agent and property manager. According to police, Sue Steggles wrote, So very sad to have lost you Chris Cleave you were one of the good guys and taken far too young. Last month, two men were shot dead and a third injured at a popular tourist restaurant in the area as drug. Cartels battle for supremacy. From the sun under the main headline of jet carrying 21, very ill, Ukrainian kids with cancer lands. In UK for treatment. Summary of headline article. A plane carrying 21 Ukrainian children battling cancer arrived in Britain on Sunday so they can get life-saving treatment in the UK. The sick youngsters, ranging from babies to teenagers, will be assessed and given vital NHS care in hospitals for free. Mr. Javid said. I am proud that the UK is offering life-saving medical care to these Ukrainian children. It called on other countries to help provide additional care as more children crossed the border. From Ukraine. The Department for Health and Social Care would not reveal the airport the children landed in for. Safeguarding reasons. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine War. Pregnant woman pictured being evacuated from bombed Mariupol hospital dies with baby. Summary of headline article. A pregnant woman who was pictured being evacuated from a bombed maternity hospital in the Ukrainian city of Mariupol has died along with her baby. She was rushed to another hospital following the Russian attack last week. The app news agency reported. Image. Mariana Vishegirskaya gave birth to a girl the day after the attack. Another woman who was in the building at time. Beauty blogger Mariana Vishegirskaya. Said, glasses. Frames. Windows and walls flew apart when the attack began. Ms. Vishegirskaya gave birth to a healthy baby girl. Veronica. The day after. From Reuters under the main headline of China's Guangdong could see 75,000 daily COVID cases if curbs are lifted. Study. Summary of headline article. Shanghai. March 14. Reuters. Daily COVID-19 cases in the southern manufacturing hub of Guangdong province could surge to more than 75,000 if curbs are removed and travel is allowed to recover to a fifth of pre-pandemic levels. China's disease control body said. The CCDC study, published in its weekly bulletin on Friday, used models based on real-world data to show the impact of easing restrictions. The models showed if the current suppression strategy was maintained including two-week quarantine for incoming visitors. Infections could be kept low even with a 20% recovery in travel. However, a switch to a coexistence strategy, with most NPIs lifted, would bring annual cases to 6.85 million and deaths to 64,626. 
if travel completely recovered to 2019 levels. Cases would rise beyond 10 million over the year. From The Guardian under the main headline of cost of living for UK Euro S poorest could be 10% higher. By autumn. Think Tank warns. Summary of headline article. At the time of the budget. Inflation was expected to fall back later in the year. Sam Timms. An economist at NEF. Said. The cost of living is increasing faster than at any point in recent history. The war in Ukraine has turned a cost of living crisis into a cost of living emergency. A fair tax cut. Worth £600 a household. To help families. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.